Hey guys, X and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple yet professional looking background using Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, this is pretty easy to do and doesn't take a lot of time, so let's get started. First you're going to want to download the template, I'll have a link for it in the description. And then you're going to want to open up in Photoshop. And thanks to my friend Naz for making that, he's also a part of this channel, so... Make a new layer and add a gradient with whatever two colors you want. I'm going to be using a purple and a black. And just draw the gradient. And then change the transfer mode to overlay. And then it's a little too dark, so I'm going to make the purple go down a little bit farther. Alright, that looks good. So now for the text, you have two options. First, you can either um, do normal text like this. And then... If I change that to... Alright, then you can just do it like that. And then hit edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And just put it over like that. Or if you hold down on the text tool and do vertical text, you can do it like so and do v vertical. I personally prefer this way, but you can do it either way you want. They're just the same pretty much. So now drag the text over here. And then we're going to probably want to make a little background behind the text because it blends in. So come to this rectangle marquee tool and just draw a shape similar to the size of the text. And right click and hit new layer and just hit OK. And then right click and hit fill with background color. OK. Move this below the text layer. And then we're going to want to hit control T on our keyboard to resize this. So something like that. And then move it over a little bit. And then move the text over. Alright. Move. Oh, let's see. Sorry. There. So it's something similar to that. And then you're going to want to lower the opacity on this layer to, I don't know, let's see. Uh, I have mine on 32%, so about a third. And then you can probably want something to go over here because it's a little bland right now. So you have two options. You can either come and find a render of something. So I'll use Modern Warfare 2 as an example. Copy image. Come to Photoshop. File. New. OK. And paste it in. And then you're going to want to come to your, whatchamacallit, magic wand tool, and just delete all the white stuff. Alright, and then you're going to want to delete this little logo thing right here. And then hit Control, all, hit control A, and then Control C, and then come over here and hit Control V. And now you have your little guy, and you can just put him over here, hit Control T to resize him. Just You can do something like that. Or your other option is that you can find a cool looking brush. So, for example, I'll take, I'll make my brush black. And then I'll use this nifty looking one and just click over there. And I used to have a cool looking background here. Probably want to put that below all the other layers. So as you can see here, I've created a pretty simple background that looks really nice and pretty easy to do. So thanks for watching and good boy.